Hey everyone, so today I'll be doing a first impression review on Cream of Nature's Flexible Snot Gel. The consistency of this gel is quite thick and once it gets wet, it actually can form into a ball, which I thought was very different. The hold on this is crazy strong. It's definitely a lot higher than the EcoStyle Gel 10. If any of you guys have tried this gel out, definitely let me know down below and let's get right into the video. Alright, so I just went ahead and shampooed and conditioned my hair. My hair is in about five or so sections. It looks really crazy right now, so excuse that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with my leave-in, my moisturizer, and then I'm going to follow up with the gel. Um, yeah, hopefully it works. Pray for me because I hate when I do my hair and it doesn't turn out right because I don't have the patience to redo my hair. So I'm gonna start off with the back section. So this section's kind of big, so I'll go a little bit smaller. So my hair is wet, but not like soaking wet, so I have a spray bottle of water here that I'm going to spray my hair with, um, just because I like to work with wet hair. And I got dressed and everything, so my hair kind of dried up. Just gonna do the usual. Leave in. Smooth that in. Then going in with a moisturizer. So I did actually test everything on my hands first before applying it to my hair, just to make sure that it won't flake on me. Um, so what you do is you take a small amount of your leave-in, your moisturizer, and your gel and you mix it up in your hand and if it clumps up and turns into like white balls, you know that combo is not going to work. Now if it looks something like this, nice and smooth and creamy, then you know that combo will work. Meaning that it won't cause flakes, not meaning that your hair will be popping or anything. It just means that you won't have any flakes. So that is a really awesome tip for anyone because I get that question a lot. How do you know if the products are going to work? So, alright, so my moisturizer is all throughout my hair and I don't like to use any combs for this unless my hair is like really knotted but I made sure to properly detangle in the shower. Alright, hair is my nice and moisturized. I'm just going to wet it a little bit more. And finally, the gel. So let's see how this goes. This is what it's looking like. So you can see it's pretty thick. I'm going to use a small amount and work my way up. So I'm using this size. It's probably about a quarter size amount. Yeah. Ooh, that is thick. Oh man, this is thick. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Pray for me. I hope this works. I think I might have added too much of the moisturizer. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more gel, just cause, I don't know. I don't really see my hair clumping. So, going in with a little bit more gel. It's weird, like, I'm applying the gel, but I don't feel like I'm putting gel on my hair. Like, it doesn't feel like how EcoStyler feels, like slippery. I don't know, weird. So that's what it looks like so far. I don't know what to say. My hair doesn't really look super clumped, but this is my tighter section. My curls back here are much tighter, so um, they don't curl up like the rest of my hair. So, so you guys can kind of see, you can see some definition, but again, this is my tighter section, so it doesn't curl up right away like the rest of my hair. It's a bad man thing, I hey, Oh Lord of his mercy Hey, his body baby oh. Hey, his body baby oh. Bulaka, it's a bad man thing See, I'm a hey, eh, 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 eh. It's a bad man thing, hey, Bulaka, see, eh, eh, eh. see I'm a jar of beto I'm a jar of leho Say we get to bed so no delay, huh? no See, delay. By the end of the night she be wanting more by the end of the So I finished 
almost half of my head. I still have a small section right here to do. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. I feel like there's a lot of frizz going on. I tried to go back in and fix some um, sections, like for example, this one. Every time I smooth it out, it just gets fuzzy again. I don't know. But anyways, um, applying it to that first section that you guys saw me apply it to, it didn't really react. I didn't really curl up much. Um, it was very frizzy, but the rest of my hair, because the rest of my hair is a looser texture, um, it glided, the gel glided on really, really nicely, so I like that. Um, so what I did was, you know, spray my hair with some water, and then I did one pump of my moisturizer. So I feel like the key to this is not to have too much moisturizer. So I just did one pump, made sure that my hair was moisturized. Um, one pump and then I applied the gel one quarter size amount and then I went back in and add a little bit more to the ends So that the ends can be nice and curly. So this is what it looks like so far So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next section on the same side. So I got my last section here going in With the water getting it nice and wet with those ends Smooth the water through. So throughout this whole process, I am raking and smoothing, raking and smoothing, making sure that every strand is covered and smoothed out, um, and there's no tangles. So I did go ahead and create a middle part. Now that this section is nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my leave-in. With my leave-in, I'm a little heavy-handed with leave-in because it's so light. And again, raking and smoothing. I rake with one hand and smooth with the other. All right, so then I go in with my moisturizer and do one pump. And I apply that to the entire section. And it's pouring here in Toronto. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, probably not. But it's just crazy outside. So, and then I add just a touch more to my ends because I really want those to be nice and moisturized. So for this, you can actually use a denim brush, but I feel like a denim brush makes my hair like crazy curly. And then I get so much shrinkage with it, like crazy. Um, so I'm not going to use it today. So I get about one pump of the gel. So about a quarter size amount and this thing feels like it's just weird it literally just like falls off your hand oh it's so clumped together it I guess it kind of is like it's not I can actually roll this into a ball if I want to like it's just so weird it's definitely not like eco cellar gel it's very slippery <laughs> It's hard, it's actually kind of hard to blend in your hand, like you have to like literally like squish it into your hand and then rub your hands together. Because if you just apply it to your hand and then rub your hand together, it will just roll into a ball because it's so slimy. So now that it's all mixed up on my hands, I'm going to go ahead, grab that section of hair and begin spreading it. So it feels really nice on the hair because it's nice and slippery. And then really make sure I get those ends. And again, rake and smooth. Yeah, so I just keep raking and smoothing until my hair is completely detangled. And maybe add a little bit of water if my hair doesn't feel so great. Anyway, so that is the front section. As you can see, it hangs down much longer than the rest. The back is already starting to dry up, so it's shrinking. Um, this front section is a pain in my butt. It never, it takes forever to curl, to do whatever it needs to do. So, I'm just gonna have to leave it and let it do its thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair and I'll come back when my hair is fully um, covered in products. And yeah, this is what my hair looks like now. Everything is on. Ooh, I did a middle part, but 
I'm probably going to end up just shifting my hair and making bangs. My hair is starting to dry on this side. The side was done last, so it's still hanging down. The back. The other side. So I'm going to go ahead and let my hair air dry for maybe a few hours. Then I'll sit under, sit under my hooded dryer um, for maybe an hour. And then my hair should be dry. But yeah, no stretching. I don't stretch my hair um, with a bowl dryer anymore. I kind of just let it shrink. Um, if I do want to stretch out my hair, then I will use the banding method where I just take bands and, you know, stretch out my hair. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like right now. I will come back after my hair is done air drying. And then I'll come back tomorrow morning and show you guys like the final, final results. How it looks the next day after I slept on it. So yeah. Alright, so I finished drying my hair. Um, I ended up with a middle part. But anyway, so this is what my hair looks like. Uh, not 100% dry. I want to say about 90%. Um, it probably will shrink a little bit more right here because this area is still pretty pretty damp actually. Yeah, that's pretty wet. Um, but anyways, so this is what my hair looks like so far. So for the most part it looks pretty good, but there's a lot of flakes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this entire section right here is covered in flakes. I mean, it's not like too bad. I don't know if you guys can kind of see them. I'm kind of nervous because I know by like day two once my hair is like completely dried and I start stretching it and shaking it around, it's gonna be snowing. Um, for sure. But there is a bit of some flakes right here in the crown area. There was a good chunk all around here and here. What I did was take a spray oil and just sprayed it all over my hair and scrunched the oil into my hair. And I think that kind of helped because um, I don't really see any flakes on the sides anymore. I see like a white area right here. I might have been too heavy handed with the gel maybe. Maybe that's why it's causing some flaking. Final verdict. How do I feel about this gel? Personally, I don't think I would repurchase it just based off of what I experienced today. Um, I did have a good chunk of flakes and I had to fan them out, had to scratch them, I added oil to my hair. I had to do a little extra just to get this to work properly. Um, I did test the gel and my moisturizer in my hand first before applying it to my hair to make sure that it wouldn't um, cause residue. And it was came out really nice and smooth in my hand, I showed that to you guys. So you guys can see, curls are nice and defined. Nice and defined. It's a bad man to me. See, ah, ah, ah. see, I'm a jar of beto. I'm a jar of leo. Say, we get to beto. So, no delay. Ha. No see, delay. By the end of the night, she be wanting more. I just want to come back with an update on the gel. So, ooh, not good. Um, I have a lot of flakes, like a lot. My clothes were covered in flakes. I keep having to like, you know, brush it off. <sighs> Man, it was going so well. And then like yesterday I had a little bit of frizz. I mean, not frizz. I had a little bit of flakes here and there. But now it's like the whole entire head is flakes. Yeah, the flakes are really small. But I can see it. I'm not sure if other people would be able to see it. I know it's there, so I definitely can see it. But if you don't know it's there, then you probably can't see it. It's mainly like right in this section, right here. That's where like it's really visible. And when I shake my head, I mean, it's snowing. I don't know. I mean, my hair looks pretty good. Um, it was feeling a little crunchy this morning, but I did add a little bit of oil to my hands and scrunched it in. And it was just flaking like crazy. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase it. That I know for sure. I would not repurchase it. Would I try it again? Maybe not, because I have two other gels that I really like. Um, EcoStyle Olive Oil and EcoStyle uh, Black Castor Oil. This one, it's a no. It's a no for me. I hear, from far, my hair looks good, but when I look close up in the mirror, I can see all the flakes right in the center of my head. And then when I shake my hair, my clothes, and my shoulders, let me see if you guys can see. Can you guys see those flakes? It's so hard to show because they're so tiny. But like you can see like the little 
dots and then okay wait kind of there right here on the back yeah it's like all over my shoulders but yeah so I'm constantly having to shake off my clothes and if you wear black you're definitely gonna see it so that is the end of the video so if any of you guys have tried this gel out definitely let me know down below and if you haven't tried it are you going to let me know as well